guys what is up welcome back to my channel so today's been a pretty big day um so i won't like keep teasing for too long here um what you saw just prior to this was well it originally was supposed to be like a tele um doctor appointment where we saw each other but the connection wasn't working so we did it just um, talking on the telephone but I had an appointment with a neurologist from Texas called um, not called named Dr. Bay a lot of you are probably very familiar with him um, if you are part of the vestibular world um, I believe God set this up a hundred and fifty percent um because generally these kind of appointments don't happen this way and um like you have to actually go see him um well most people do anyways but i feel very fortunate that um things fell in my favor because for quite a while now i kind of felt my diagnosis wasn't fully accurate um, I have done, for those of you that may be new here, um, back in June of 2017, so I'm almost three years in, I got very sick the first year, it was undiagnosed, um, one year in, I went to Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota and was diagnosed with triple PD, and then I went full blown with all the therapies, did all the stuff, did everything that they recommended and work my butt off guys like seriously those of you that know me or have been following me for a while i've i've been i've been going like i i have been doing all the things i've tried everything well almost everything and i am not better and i was just like <laughs> wookie's paws and i was like just, I've met a lot more people now um, in the vestibular community and uh, I'm just gonna say it I've always thought I had vestibular migraine um, I have a history of migraines and I know that they can be silent I have ocular migraines I have the kind where you throw up I have headaches um, I have a history of motion sickness I have a whole lot of stuff and I fit the criteria for vestibular migraine to a T. And so this morning I had an appointment. Um, it was just over an hour long and we went through a laundry list of questions. Um, just very detailed, asking me everything from like, when did I start noticing things back in the day to like now and the severity and all this different stuff and I knew he was gonna say it and he basically confirmed my new diagnosis of vestibular migraine um, he didn't rule out saying that I don't have triple PD anymore um, but obviously like I'm not fully better a lot of what I did though I have to say this though those of you that have been following me that have triple PD like everything that I did helped a ton. But remember, if you've watched all my videos, I've said this multiple times, like I feel like I've hit a wall and and I'm just like, I don't, I don't get it, you know? And it's because I do have a root problem as well and that is the migraine issue that is happening. And, um, and so anyways, I'm actually, happy like I obviously you know I'm not magically better you know there's still I have a ways to go there you know this is a a whole kind of different avenue like because we have a new game plan going forward for me um I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag about something that I talked about a few videos back I started a new medication but I didn't share with you which one it was and I'm just gonna be very blunt in sharing what I'm about to share um, I did get started on Lexapro um, I was taking like the smallest babyest dose ever I was taking a 1.25 milligram and um, is 
it just wasn't going so well. I don't want to go into the details about it. Um, I've been on it for about four months now. And there are just some things that I'm like, mm, this isn't, something's off here. Um, I'm, that's just where I'm going to leave it right now. And um, this doctor, he's like, that's not the right medication for me going forward. Um, so I have two new medications I'm going to be trying and some supplements. And um, yeah, I'm not going to, like, I'm not starting today because I am going to kind of ease off of the Lexapro that I was on, even though it was a small dose. Those of you that get overstimulated, you know that even at a baby dose, you still gotta be smart. And so I'm just going to keep making it smaller and smaller and ease off of that. Um, and the doctor recommended get off of that first, obviously, before I go on to try this other medication that he suggested for me. Um, and so he did say that I definitely have severe vestibular migraine. I, so essentially, he said, um, I'm having migraines daily, whether they're silent or, um, or they, 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 how do I say this? Those of you that have vestibular migraines, you'll understand, or they manifest in different ways, like between pre head pressure, um, or the kind where you get really sick, or the ocular kind of stuff. They're all combined, and he said, I'm having some form of a migraine every single day that's keeping me in this constant state of sickness, essentially. So the goal is, through medication, is we need, to get these migraines to simmer down and um, so that they're less frequent and um, that's the best way I think I can explain it obviously I'm not a doctor guys I'm doing my best here um, and so that's the new plan um, is to get them under control and it's so funny because now when I look back at the whole thing I just want to finish by saying this is back when I first got sick, I had so many symptoms going on and headaches and migraines were kind of like a normal thing for me or mainly headaches, I'll say that, mainly headaches. I've had headaches since I was in my 20s and um so i didn't think much of it so then when i got sick in june of 2017 and all this stuff going on and i started going to doctor's appointments my focus was so much on like the visual stuff and the dizziness and yes i i i look back in my charts and stuff like that and i did tell doctors that i had headaches but it was so small in nature compared to everything else that was going on when really it should have been taken as an indication that there's something going on here. And the reason why I'm sharing this video now is obviously when I realized I've done all the stuff that was suggested to me and I'm still not getting there, I needed a second opinion. So what I'm saying is it's okay to get a second opinion, especially when it comes to the vestibular world. Things are so closely knit and very similar. And um, so they're not saying I don't have triple PD anymore. That's not it. It's just that I have a migraine component that needs to be treated. And so now going forward, we can treat that. And um, hopefully I'm on the up and up now, you know. And so, um, gosh, was there anything else that I was going to say? I think that was about it. Is I just want you guys to know that um, don't stop advocating for yourself. Don't, you know, if you have an inkling that something's quite, not quite right, get more opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I settled in with my triple PD diagnosis. Um, and, and different things. And also there, I have to work. I still do. I'm still doing exercises guys. Sorry. I did a little like 
quick rabbit trail there. I also still feel I need to work on my fixations and my visual component of things. So it's not like I'm not gonna be doing anything anymore. I'm still gonna do um, my neuroplasticity stuff. I'm still going to do my, my visual exercises to get them in line because there is an imbalance of some sort. So it's not like I'm throwing the towel into everything that I've done these last few years. I'm still implementing them. It's just I'm adding self something else on top of it because the migraine needs to be treated because um, it just does. And, and this doctor made it very clear to me. He was very knowledgeable. He definitely knew what he was talking about. Anybody that has gone through chronic illness, you know that there's a big difference when you see a doctor that is like, well, it could be this and let's give this a try and see if it, you know this helps your symptoms compared to a doctor that is like, he knows like or she knows and it's like they have an answer for everything um, and not out of being cocky. They just actually know like, no, that you need this because this is happening. Like every single question that I had was answered and everything made sense when in the past people were just like well let's give this a try and and that's why i was so hesitant with medication in the beginning because i'm like you don't even know what's happening to me and you're gonna like give me a bunch of stuff hoping it helps me so point being get another opinion if you need it and um when I, you know, like I said, pieces just started coming together. A door opened for me to be able to see this doctor. Um, and, you know, I thank God for it because um, I just do because it was an answer to prayer when I knew something wasn't quite right. And uh, I'm getting long winded. But anyways, don't give up. Advocate for yourself. Keep just keep moving forward. I've said that so many times as well. You know, whether it's triple PD, vestibular migraine, or other vestibular issues, you just keep moving forward. You keep working on things. It's not a one size fits all for everyone. Even like the protocol that he gave me, it's it's my, my protocol going forward. And um, I'm gonna give it a try and pray that um, his suggestions work for me and if not we're just gonna have to tweak some things and and go from there but as of right now I'm happy um, I feel like there's a lot of clarity and I pray that you guys find that too and so um, yeah if you have any other questions I'm over on Instagram at new life sparrow 23 you can follow me there I post there on a daily basis so if this video is helpful or you just liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know how you guys are doing. And these guys are making me sleepy right now a little bit though. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna stop chatting. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.